Thank you for joining me today. As you watch this, I encourage you to stand up and follow along with this participatory embodied activity. Please stand up if you are able and get into a comfortable position. And please turn up your volume all the way up so you can hear me. We are going to do a communal movement lament. This is a prayer to God using words and movements and facial expressions to express our complaints and our feelings to God. While I am speaking these prayers based on scriptures, don't worry about repeating the words. Just try to internalize what's being communicated and really feel the emotions of the words and try to express your feelings in your facial expressions and in your movements. You are welcome to copy me and mirror my movements, or you can make up your own movements that are meaningful to you. So let's get started. First, our address to God and our complaint. Oh Lord! Why do bad things happen? Why is there suffering? Why does my heart hurt? We know, Lord, that when you see the wickedness of the human race, and you know the evil thoughts of us humans, your heart is deeply troubled. <sighs> now, let us review God's faithfulness in the past. Thank you, Jesus, for being close to us, for we are broken hearted. And thank you, Jesus, for saving us, for we are crushed in spirit. But who shall separate us from the love of Jesus? For I am convinced that neither death, nor life, neither angels, nor demons, neither the present, nor the future, neither height, nor depth, nothing will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Thank you, God, for this is how you showed your love among us. You sent your one and only Son into the world that we might live through Jesus. And this is your love, God, not that we loved you, but you sent your son as an atoning sacrifice for our sins. Thank you, God, for your grace. Thank you for saving us. It is not the result of our own efforts, but your gift, so we cannot boast about it. And thank you, Jesus, for proclaiming your good news of your kingdom. And thank you, Jesus, for healing our hearts. And thank you, Jesus, for having compassion for us, for we are feeling harassed and helpless like sheep without a shepherd. <sighs> now, if you are able, please get on your knees let us kneel before the Lord, our Maker. Our request for God's help. Lord, help us with the troubles we experience. We have been under great pressure, far beyond our ability to endure. And help us not to rely on ourselves, but on you, God. You, God, have rescued us before, and you, God, will rescue us again. On you, we have set our hope, 
that you will continue to rescue us. And Lord, give us the courage to speak up for those who cannot speak for themselves, for those who are being crushed. And Lord, give us courage to speak up and defend the rights of the poor and the needy. Yes! Lord, help us to feast on your scriptures, which make us wise for salvation through faith in Christ Jesus. Lord, help us to be nourished by your God-breathed scripture to correct and train us in righteousness and equip us for every good work. God's response to us. Let us take in a receptive breath. Let us open our ears and open our hearts. And let's take a moment to hear from God. Feel free to close your eyes and to take some deep breaths while you're listening for God's response. Now, our vow to praise God and to trust in God. Lord, we praise you. Lord, we trust in you. Thank you for Jesus. Amen. So, that was our movement lament. How did that feel? Feel free to jot down your thoughts and your feelings and to just reflect on the movement we lament we just did. Thank you for joining us.